So now I am in the process of trying to tune this thing. So what I did was I took the ends out. These pieces slide out of the hamstick. This is the 40 meter band. I've got three, I've got 20 meter, three pairs, 20, 30, and 40. So what I did was I slid these out, put them together and I made a mark on them about every two inches evenly. And so every time I make a change on one side, I make a change on the other. So instead of carrying the ladder back and forth, first of all, I wanted to get up a little bit high to get away from the metal and stuff, because eventually I'm going to raise it much higher, 20, 30 feet. I have my, my old, I had this in my old house, fiberglass mount. I think it goes about 30 feet. It's pretty, pretty hefty. It's been out in the weather for about, it's coming up on two years now. So anyway, what I'm doing is I loosened it and I'm, I'm going one segment at a time. Then I'm checking the SWR one segment at a time, checking the SWR. So right now we are at, this thing is kind of a pain to tune 4.4. And I'm going to go in another two inches on both sides and we'll see what happens. Wow, so you just saw it, now it's, that went in, down to about 2.0. I went in about two more inches. I've been doing this for a while, this isn't the first time I've done it, but we're at 2.0. I'm gonna go in a little bit more and see if we can beat that. Here we go. Now that made it worse. I'm gonna have to go back out. Okay, the best I could do was about 2.1. Now maybe if I get it up higher, get it away from that ladder, that might maybe get, make a difference. That ladder, I bet's messing with it. Let's see if I move it, if anything happens. So, there's two little spots. This unscrews, and the hex wrench, once you get it where you want, you tighten it down. But I actually found it easier if it was loose, then I could just move it back and forth and try it and try it. So 2.1 was the best I could do. And now it's tight. I don't like how droopy it is. 2.1, huh? What do you guys think of that? Let's get it up higher and see what happens then. Now we got it up about 15 feet, 2.2, 2.2, it'll have to do. So I'll probably come back and operate tonight, but there's your hamstick, 2.2 is the best I could do. It's kind of pretty, isn't it? Kind of like that. I can go a lot higher, but right now I don't feel the need to. The, the coax on there I have on there is not long enough. Okay, before we go out there, we need to configure our whisper transmitter. And all you do is you fire it up, Zactec whisper transmitter configuration, plug it in, USB, pick your COM port, hit connect. I just heard it click. And now we're going to go over here to the beacon. And I, I'm going to put it on, I don't know if you can do multiples, but I don't want it transmitting on other bands because I know it's 40. So I'm going to do that. Hit save settings. And I'm not sure what start and stop are, but I think, so I'm just going to test it. And the way I would do that is I hit save. And I do believe it, that wrote it to the device, but I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on, on again and see if it is the same. And that way I'll know for sure. Okay, so now I've disconnected, I closed this app down, opened it up again. I'm gonna hit connect, and if I hit connect, I assume it's going to be on 40, and there it is. So I think it read from the, from the device, and I think we're ready to go give it a, a try. Let's close it out now. Okay guys, it's dark right now, so I, I attach a battery, just in case you haven't seen this, to the whisper transmitter 
the transmitter goes to the antenna, 40 meters in this case, and then this is a GPS device. So this is a really simple setup. Uh, the whisper transmitter, all you do is you configure it in the computer like you just saw, hook it to the antenna, and you're done. So I'm gonna go out in the dark. I don't think you can see it, so. Okay, I know it's hard to see. It's only like 5.30, but it gets dark so early now. This is one of the reasons why I'm not making videos, but I've got the transmitter here. And it was red just a second ago. I think that means it's transmitting. Now it's green. And so, sorry if you can't see this, but I put the antenna up another section. So it's probably about 20-ish feet up. I actually have, this will be interesting. I can actually see the North Star. And I have it going exactly to the north as a, I don't know, a unit of measure, a sort of a, you can't see it, but this North Star is there. I have it pointing exactly at the North Star. It will give us an indication of what kind of radiation we get. North and South Dipole 2.1 SWR, I tested it, Whisper transmitter. Let's hope we can get something. Let's go check the computer. All right, guys, it is time to check on this thing, and I'm not that impressed. I have a I believe it's because the SWR is so high. I don't know for sure, though. I'm not sure how I could get that SWR down without some kind of tuner. But that was the best I could do at 2.1. So anyway, you go here to whispernet.org. And depending on how many people are listening out there, I picked 40 meters. I picked three hours. It's been about two hours. And I hit update with N9YO. By the way, you have to get an account. You know, I don't think you have to have to get an account, but... All right, let's look at the results. So remember, I had this pointing directly north. So my antenna is like this, up and down like that. And I'm getting a little activity. Let's go down here and hit update. I've done this before, and I've had much better results than this. I've had lots more people hear me. So there I am in Oklahoma City, tornado capital of the world. <laughs> kind of proud of that, actually. And here are the people that can hear me. We've got a, uh, El Paso, New Mexico, Nevada. Just think of all these places that stole the election. Uh, what about that? We've got Portland. Boy, I wouldn't live there. Not for five seconds. Am I ever going to visit there? So we got New York State. W3PM over here in Alabama. That's interesting. And this is what I expect with an antenna that way. What if I put it this way? If I had it going east and west, would I get would I get signals uh, north and south? Would that be interesting? What do you guys think? Let me know in the description. Uh, thanks for joining me. It gets dark really early here. It's really hard to make videos. So I have to get it planned out during the during the day because I've got I work all day and then all of a sudden it's dark at five o'clock. It's so annoying. The weather's been good though. We've got 60s and 70s. So I need to get out there. All right. Let me know what you think. I I want to do more videos on the uh, ham sticks and that octopus. I want to do a lot of in-depth testing with that. But so far I'm not that impressed because the best SWR wasn't that good. But maybe I can fix it. I don't know. It's a dipole.